What is up guys, Joe here back with another video. Today I wanted to cover how to stake the Harmony 1 token on the Harmony 1 platform and earn up to 10% APR in staking rewards. So currently Harmony 1 is ranked number 65 on CoinMarketCap with a market value of over 1.4 billion dollars. And on DeFi Llama, Harmony 1 is ranked number 17 with over 600 million in total value lock and if we dig deeper do see that there are a couple of popular DeFi apps running on the Harmony One blockchain including Curve, SushiSwap, Aave and Beefy Finance and if you're wondering what is Harmony One, Harmony One is the blockchain using randomness to reinforce proof of stake. Harmony aims to strike a happy compromise between security, scalability and decentralization using a mechanism based on randomness and sharding and if you look at their homepage, they tout a transaction finality of only two seconds average cost of only 0.0001 one tokens and over a billion in total value locked and they're also scaling the metaverse introducing zero knowledge proofs implementing two second finality and lastly bridging ecosystems so they have built a bitcoin bridge and an ETH and BNB bridge and you can expect more blockchain interoperability in the future. So with a current price of only 12 cents and a previous all time high of 35 cents, I do expect Harmony to revisit its all time highs this year and push into new highs including 50 cents and way above a dollar. This is truly a coin you want to hold for years to come. So while you're holding your tokens, it's a great idea for you to stake your coin and start earning passive staking rewards and in order to do this you will need to visit their official website at staking.harmony.one and from here you can sync your metamask wallet and begin staking immediately so today i wanted to cover a quick guide on how to begin staking harmony one using the metamask wallet let's get started so recently harmony finally released their compatibility with staking using the metamask wallet which has the most users across the crypto space so in order to get started staking you will need to download the official metamask wallet and the website here is metamask.io and towards the bottom you would click on download now and go ahead and click on install metamask for chrome and once you're in the chrome web store go ahead and click on add metamask for chrome and this would add the toolbar up here on your chrome browser so by default only the ethereum mainnet is pre-installed on your metamask wallet so you will have to manually add the harmony one network in order for you to begin staking so in order to add a new network you would simply click on this drop down list here and click on add network this would bring you to a new page where you can insert the specific address of the harmony one network so on the official harmony one documentation page at docs Dot harmony dot one you would simply plug in the corresponding information here on the left into the corresponding fields on your metamask wallet so in order for this to work properly just like it states here you will need the rpc url and chain id of shard zero so simply what that means is you will only use the first sections here and paste those into your metamask wallet for example we can grab harmony mainnet here that would be our network name rpc url would be only the first section paste that in chain id would be shard zero and it says to use the number only so only use the number we'll copy that that goes in here and currency symbol is one we'll copy that paste that in and the block explorer url we can finally copy this and paste that in so if you're doing this at home be sure to copy each of these sections specifically in the exact manner it is written here so you don't mess this up and once you're ready you'll hit save and this would add the harmony one network to your metamask wallet but i've previously pre-installed the Harmony main it here so I'll go ahead and cancel this but like I said go ahead and plug this in and you will finally have the Harmony main it available to your MetaMask wallet 
So once you have the MetaMask wallet installed and the Harmony mainnet up and running, the next step is to fund your wallet. So as you can see, I've previously sent some one tokens into my MetaMask wallet and my preferred exchange is crypto.com where you can purchase Harmony One tokens, but they're also available on Binance US or KuCoin. So in order to fund your MetaMask wallet, you will have to withdraw crypto from your favorite exchange and send it over to your MetaMask wallet. For example, if this was KuCoin or Binance US or the Crypto.com app, make sure you choose Harmony One and under wallet address, you would go over to your MetaMask wallet and your address is found under here, right under the name of the wallet and the wallet address should begin with 0x. So go ahead and copy that and paste it here and under network type, be sure to choose the Harmony One network and it gives you a notice sign, just hit OK and the amount KuCoin requires an amount of 20 minimum to send over so always make sure you send a test amount and for remarks you can write a note but this isn't necessary because we're sending this to a our MetaMask wallet so you can leave that blank and KuCoin does charge a fee of one one token for this transaction to process and once you're ready you would hit confirm and verify the transaction and once it's sent this should only take a couple of seconds and you'll finally have your one token sent from either KuCoin or your other favorite exchange into your MetaMask wallet it should be a quick and easy process and once you're ready to stake go ahead and visit the official Harmony One staking website at staking.harmony.one and once you're on here you're going to have to sign in and sync your metamask wallet so go ahead and click on sign in here or you can also sign in down here and you choose use existing address go ahead and connect using the metamask wallet hit sign in and it should be an instantaneous connection and once you're in it'll bring you direct to the validator page so the first tab is your portfolio page and this shows you the amount of one tokens you have available and as you can see I have 4,103 tokens in my wallet and corresponds with my portfolio section here I currently have zero staked and zero rewards and no validators chosen yet but that's about to change in a minute and if you click on the validators page again these are all the unique validators who are doing the staking on your behalf and here you can see some of their stats you can also view network analytics on the Harmony One blockchain and finally under networks you can also toggle to the testnet but I don't recommend that unless you're a developer just stick with the mainnet and that's already pre-selected so back to portfolio when you're ready to stake go ahead and click on validator list and from here you can choose validators to stake with so a validator is essentially a person or team running a node in the network who does the staking on your behalf they are the ones who crowdfund these tokens and pull together Harmony One tokens in order to stake as a batch. And in return for their staking services, they do take a commission rate. The minimum here is a 5% commission rate and the max allowed on the network is up to 10%. And within here, it'll also tell you the expected return for your staking. So most are averaging around 9.5% APR staking rewards. Some even go higher than 10%. You can also toggle by the amount of staking that validator has on their own. So as you can see here, the biggest staker on the Harmony One blockchain is Binance and they have over 900 million one token staked and they have an uptime of 98%. That determines the total uptime the validator, the node is running in the network throughout its history. You definitely wanna look for a validator with 100% uptime. So when you're ready to stake, you wanna choose a couple of validators so you diversify your assets, you diversify your staking and you keep the network, the blockchain decentralized. So firstly, you wanna sort by the stake amount. And I would definitely avoid any of the top 20 here and avoid any centralized exchanges who are running nodes. And that's because they tend to charge higher commission fees and they also tend to pay out a lower reward. So we're gonna ignore the top 20 and start looking lower and find a validator that we can trust. And we'll go on the next page. And we're on the third page. 
So here's one, brother one. The expected APR here is 9.56%. This validator has over 24 million one staked on their own. Their commission rate is only 5% and their uptime is 100%. So this meets all the criteria we're looking for. So let's go ahead and click on them. And this brings us to their specific validator page and you can even view their website. So let's do some quick research. And as you can see here, a very clean and presentable website and it shows you some of their stats so i'm liking what i see here so i'm gonna go ahead and pick brother one as one of my validators and towards the bottom you do see some of their stats their delegation history which has been increasing over time which is what you want to look for and the return history is consistent and always up again positive sign that this is a trustworthy validator and it gives you a long list of all the unique delegators who are the investors who are delegating their coins to this validator so when you're ready to pick this validator go ahead and click on delegate and you can set the total amount of harmony ones you like to delegate so using this handy slider, you can do 100%, which is not recommended. Always leave a couple of coins behind on your wallet to pay for gas fees. So for this, we're going to go ahead and do 50%. Again, you want to diversify your staking validator. So we'll send half of them to brother one. And after this, we'll pick another validator as well. So with 50%, we're going to send 2,051 one tokens to this validator and go ahead and click on next and the network fee the gas fee here is only 0 0.0007 tokens extremely low that's a fraction of a penny really really cheap and you can go ahead and confirm and sign and confirm the transaction on your metamask wallet and confirm and the delegation was successful so now if we've staked half of our coins to the brother one validator Cool, and if we go back to our portfolio section, we do see we have over 2,051 staked with the Brother One Delegator. So now let's go ahead and pick a second validator to stake with. Back to our validator section, and we're gonna go on the second page. And here's another one that looks good, Strong Minds Hold. APR rate of 9.5%, over 97 million of their own one tokens staked only a 5% commission fee and 100% uptime. This meets our criteria, so I'll click within that. And within the validator page, you can research their Twitter page. And here's their Twitter page, over 5,000 followers. And it looks like this validator is pretty active in the community and responds to questions. So definitely something positive you wanna see for a validator. So we're gonna go ahead and pick them. We'll click on delegate. And now, like I said, we're going to stake our remaining half with strong minds with them. Hit set max. But again, we want to leave a couple of one tokens behind just for safety in case we need gas fees down the line. So instead of 2051, we're going to go ahead and pick 2049 and we'll go ahead and click next and verify this all looks correct. Confirm and sign. And once more, verify the transaction on your MetaMask wallet confirm and the delegation was successful we've successfully staked out other half right and one last time let's go to our portfolio section and it shows us our total amount staked 4100 and 50 percent is distributed to the brother one validator and the other 50 percent to the strong minds hold validator and like i mentioned you're free to keep adding more validators as you collect more coins in order to keep your staking diversified and to keep the network decentralized. You don't want to focus all of your holdings into one validator. You want to diversify your assets. So finally, rewards are paid out in the native one token and rewards are paid out once a day every 18 hours. So when you're ready, you can go ahead and hit claim rewards here. And when you claim rewards, you'll have to approve the transaction on your MetaMask wallet and you will receive your staking rewards in that manner. And what I do recommend is once you claim your rewards, you continue re-delegating those rewards back into the same validators. That way you'll continue compounding your earnings. And keep in mind, every time you claim rewards, you do have to pay gas fees. And even though gas fees are less than a penny, I like to claim rewards about twice a week personally, but it's really up to you to decide how often you want to claim rewards. Some people do it once a week. Some people do it once a day. It's really up to you. And if for some reason you want to unstake and undelegate, all you would simply do is click on the desired validator 
and you would go ahead and click on undelegate and from here you can click on how many you want to pull out either max or half it's really up to you just keep in mind in order to unstake undelegate this process takes about five to six days total so you're going to have to wait about a week in order for the unstake to process and you can receive your coins back into your metamask wallet but if you're a long-term holder like I am, I do not plan on unstaking for a very long time. So I'm going to keep the staking rewards running indefinitely. And one more thing, if you wanted to cash out, say you wanted to send some of your earnings back to MetaMask and back to KuCoin, this is definitely possible. Also, you can unstake and send it back to MetaMask. And from here, you can simply hit on send and you would go to your corresponding exchange and paste their deposit wallet address here and go ahead and paste that into the send address in your metamask and that's one way for you to send your one tokens back to an exchange and finally cash out your earnings so that covers a complete guide on how to stake the Harmony One token using MetaMask on the official Harmony One wallet. It's a pretty straightforward process and I'm super bullish on the Harmony One chain. They have a ton of projects and updates in the work. Their total value lock keeps growing week by week and I expect more investors to start using their popular apps on here like Curve and SushiSwap and Aave. And you can stay up to date with all the latest Harmony One news on their official Twitter page at Harmony Protocol. So I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a question in the comment section. I'll be happy to respond. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.